Hey, Mary Costa, we're here today at College Hour asking uh, students' thoughts on gun control. There has been a recent debate around the population, and we just want to get students' opinions. Hi, my name is uh, Jacob. I'm an accounting major here at Mary Costa. Well, you know, some people think that, you know, back in the day, they only had muskets, right? We didn't have to worry about assault rifles or anything, but, you know, just how we don't use TIE fighters anymore. We still have our speech protected. Likewise, I think like guns should be protected. Because you know, while we might need might not need an AI-15, I still think if you want to own one, you should be able to, you know? My name is Izzy. Um, I don't think we should have guns, <laughs> like at all. <laughs> Especially no one should be owning an AR-15. Like that's obviously just a killing machine. And we see like what Australia has done. Like they've totally banned guns and look, they have no shootings, whoop de doo That's what happens when you ban guns. The Second Amendment, well, the Second Amendment was written by like a bunch of old white dudes like 100 years ago, like over 100 years ago when they needed guns to protect themselves because they didn't trust the government. There was no distrust there. I mean, there was all distrust there. So they needed that amendment to protect themselves and they're all like living super far away from each other and they're worried about people robbing their freaking farms and stuff. We're never gonna get rid of every single gun in America. Yeah. Like, my personal belief is that nobody, oh, my name's Alyssa, and my personal belief is that nobody, like, needs a gun in their house, but I know for a fact that America, like, we're not gonna take everyone's guns away. Like, that is their right to protect themselves, to protect themselves. But I also think it should be said that the Second Amendment was written by founding fathers that had no idea about assault rifles and, like, to the magnitude we were gonna use it like this. And after mass shooting after mass shooting, I would just think that if you're on the no-fly list, you shouldn't be able to get a gun legally, which you still can. And I think like little things like that just don't make any sense to me, that you can be on the terrorist watch list and get a gun legally, just like loopholes like that don't make any sense. I think we just need, gun control is like perceived as trying to take away people's guns, when I really think it's just making it harder for people to get guns. So if you're a law-abiding citizen who just believes in your Second Amendment right, you should have no problem obtaining a gun. Christian Rios, my thoughts on gun control are probably that it's a good and a bad idea. Self-protection self is really important nowadays as well for like crime and all these things, but at the same time, it's a double-edged blade. My thoughts on double-edged blade is that it can protect you and it can also cause harm. So I think of it as not as great, but also pro for it, but not as much. I'm absolutely against gun control. The Second Amendment is our permit to not only own guns, but to also carry them too. Gun control sucks. I'm Lily and I think we should ban guns because of what is happening around the world. I think it's scary. I live in a fear of somebody coming to my classroom or even my brother's school shooting it. I get worried. My name is Ariana Inahosa. I am like 50-50 with it because it is like the second amendment but like at the same I do want gun control but like there's so many people that like I on it like how are you going to get all those guns? There's going to be black markets, and it's just going to be crazy. Well, like, um, I'm kind of with the news right now, and I heard, like, they're trying to, like, not have them over or under 21 to buy guns. So I feel like they should stick to it. My name is Joshua, and I am a ex-service member. I was in the United States Marine Corps Infantry for four years. Um, my thoughts on gun control are it should only be for those who pass the background checks, who are trained on how to use it. So I do agree that the age limit of 18 should stay the way it is for rifles and the age for 21 should stay the way it is for pistols. Um, I do agree with semi-automatic functions, functionalities of the weapons. I do not believe that a civilian needs a fully automatic weapon. I do believe that forks make people fat and drunk drivers kill people. So why are we blaming the forks and the cars for the actions of people? Guns are just or firearms, I should specify, are just tools. They're an amenity to life. It's the individual who is responsible. So again, if you are blaming the tool for what people do, that is incorrect. That is not a good argument.